four horses. <laughs> Never could beat my Pony Express. Four horses couldn't beat one horse anyway. I think you're going to put me out of business. <laughs> no, sir, not when Billy's riding. Coach, trying to do good. All right, if I fasten this to your building, Fuzzy? Mm, I suppose so, if you think it'll do you any good. Thanks. Things look pretty bad for the future of the Pony Express. Can't you talk about something more pleasant? Oh, I wouldn't say that, Higgins. No use denying the truth. Well, why can't the Pony Express and the stagecoach combine and work together? Does Billy Carson agree to that? Well, not yet, but I'm sure he will after Sally explains it to him when the stagecoach gets in this afternoon. She's riding with it on the first trip. Now, you'll never get him perched up on that monkey box. He likes to sit in the saddle too well. How's the road building coming along? Pretty good. We're about ready to start through the Badlands. Oh, then you've gotten your government permission. <laughs> yes, a couple of days ago. You know, this stagecoach line is going to mean a lot to the people out here on the frontier. It certainly will. Well, see you later. You're wasting your time talking to Farrell. I know all he does and more. Have you had a report from your man in the Capitol? Yes, and all your legal maneuvering hasn't stopped Farrell from getting the rights to run his road through the Badlands. He told me so. And that means three things. All of them bad. What's that? First, the land will be open to the public. Second, the law will move in, break up an organization that we've been years building up. And third, the stagecoach company will be given grants of land along the route that is the most valuable in the territory. Right. That's the land I want, and the land I'm going to have. Maybe we can still get it. There's no maybe about it. We're going to get it. I know of no law. There is no law in the Badlands. Nothing but wanted men controlled by us. That's why I feel I can handle it my way. Without showing your hand? Yes. I'm going to let Steve Lacey handle it. And from now on, Farrell is going to run into nothing but trouble. them out in the open.
Somebody will tell you, Mr. Farrell. I got to get this mail through. What's the matter, Fudge? Can't you find a better place to sit down? Not at present. Why not? Oh, I burnt my britches. Oh, I sat on a hot horseshoe. Uh, that's a kind of a stupid thing to do. You're not half as stupid as you riding in on that stagecoach. What'd you do it for? Well, the stage was being attacked, so I pitched in and helped them out. You'd do the same thing yourself, wouldn't you? No, sir. Let them fight their own battles. You and me had to. Uh, you don't mean that. You know you don't. Of course he doesn't. Do you? <laughs> uh, of course not. <laughs> well, I'd fight anybody, any time, any place for you, Miss Sally, and so would Billy. Well, he's already proven that. <laughs> and I appreciate it, Billy. Lots more than I can say. Yeah, if our place has been reversed, you'd have done the same thing yourself, Mr. Farrell. You know, it ain't often you see rivals help each other out. Rivals? Well, sure. You're both in the same business. I know we're not. The Pony Express handles the mail, and the stage line handles freight and passengers. And eventually the mail. Isn't that so? Well, uh, there's been some talk about it. Why, Dad, you never told me that. Well, it, well it, it's not definite. But it's going to happen. And when it does, Carson and others like him are going to be out in the cold. That's why I want him to throw one with me. How about it, Billy? Uh, are you dickering for a mail contract, Mr. Farrell? Uh, we've made the government a proposition to carry the mail daily instead of weekly, as you're doing. <laughs> Well, why can't I make them the same proposition? Well, of course you can. But it'll take a great number of horses and riders. I got the horses, and I think I can get the riders. If you can't, I can. Well, it's possible. But I don't believe you can meet my bid. I can do my best. May the best man win, huh? Yeah. Come on, Fudge. Come on, Sally. Farrell and Carson both after that mail contract, and they're sitting pretty. How? If we can get them fighting one another, that stage road will never be built. That's a good idea, but how can it be done? Very simple. I'll have Carson's horses run off. I'll make it look like Farrell did it. I'll see you later, Stone. Right. in the herd. They're down there. The rest of them are probably in town for the dance tonight. Remember, we want the horses, not the men. They must be left alive. I don't get it. They've got to bring word in to Carson and Farrell's men run off his horses. And that's where you come in, my friend. Let's go.
Looks like we'd wing one of them. Come on. Yeah. Jed Clark. What a Farrell's man. Can Tom Farrell be back of this raid? That's for Billy to decide. We're heading for town. Shake a leg, yes, so grab your partners. <laughs> Hit her, man.
everybody else but you, girl. She's mighty, mighty, she's always going to be. Oh, her limbs remind me of the same. Glad to see you here, Curly. Okay, you can walk side by and some fun. Uh, I'll only be a minute, Sally. All right, Curly. <laughs> Here's where Carson gets the bed. It looks that way. Well, I got away with a herd, but we know who's responsible. Are you sure that Jed Clark was the man you found? No doubt about it. It's sure hard to believe that Farrell would pull a thing like that. Yeah, Jed never ran around with a wild bunch. He's a Farrell man. He always struck me as being a square shooter. Curly, go and get Farrell. Tell him I want to talk to him. Do all he can for him. You haven't answered my question yet. Why should I shoot Farrell? We're running off your horses. That's utter nonsense. Not according to what Billy's man told me. You fired this gun recently. That's right. It's the man who shot Farrell. Can you prove it? Billy didn't shoot me. Take it easy, Tom. Dad, do as Doc says. The man that shot me was out there. Who was he? Do you know? I could only see the flash of his gun. Tom, somebody's trying to get us to fight each other. That's right, son. Well, they won't get away with it. I'll help Sally build the road through the Badlands until you get back on your feet again. Thanks, Billy. Come on, fellas, give me a hand. Come on, boys. Take it. haven't made any effort to cover the tracks of the horses. Well, they ain't for the lack of opportunity. We've passed through plenty of rocky country. I don't understand it, Fuzz. Me neither. Well, I reckon we might as well push on. See if we can pick up any signs of the other riders. I wonder how many men are in on this setup. Slim and Curly said there were seven or eight of them. Looks like some of them cut off here and headed up into the hills. Well, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. We might run right into a trap. Seven men lay an ambush for two is a kind of a waste of gun talent. Well, they might not be within a dozen miles of here, Fuzz. Then we might be covered by guns right now. That ain't so good. No, it isn't. What do we do? 
Well, we came here to get those horses. What do you think we're going to do? Oh, by grab, we'll get them. You get past those rocks there, get your horses running. Just in case. Tell me, who shot Farrell and ran off my horses? I don't know. You don't know? And if you won't talk to me, you'll talk to the judge and meet the city. You're in the Badlands, mister, and you'll never get out of here alive. We'll see about that. Get on your horse. He's liable to talk. We can get Carson before he gets Turner into town. That's right. Rocky Pass place to ambush him.
take care of him, Turner. That's right, Red. Carson. You and Steve are wanted for horse stealing murder. Throw those guns away. Now get down off those horses.
Frank. No. But I've had enough. It was his idea. Well, now you get to work or get out. You mean it about paying those wages? I never meant anything more. Well, I'm willing to gamble. That's fine. Now, from now on, you handle this end. Get yourself a hostler that can fight, and you'll be paid fighting wages. Same thing goes all the way down the line. Now, get to work. Come on, Sally. He don't lose any time when he gets going. I know you had to say what you said to the men, Billy, but I'm afraid we can't pay them. Can't pay them? Why not? Well, we're running low on cash. Dad was arranging for a loan when he was shot. Well, I'll grant you all the money that you need until your dad's back on his feet again. Oh, I couldn't let you do that, Billy. Why? All right. I'll agree to it on one condition. What's that? That you take a mortgage on the franchise and equipment we have. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Well, probably not, but it's business. We'll go over to Higgins' office and have him draw up the papers right away. All right, if that's the way you want it, Sally. I'll clean up and then I'll meet you at his office, okay? Okay. I want you to draw up a chattel mortgage in Billy's favor on the stage line for money he's advancing in the next three months. How much are you advancing? Uh, just enough to keep the work going. Do you want to specify the amount that Carson is giving? No. Billy has to start paying bills today, so I'd appreciate it if you'd arrange the legal end right away. Well, you come in in about an hour. Everything will be ready. Thanks, Mr. Higgins. I'll bring the money in on my next run, Sally. Get away! Get away! Junior's escaped! Junior's escaped! That printer you brought in escaped. Steve Lacey hit me over the head and free. Hit you over the head? How long ago? Well, uh, 10 or 15 minutes ago. Yeah, probably on the way to the Badlands by now. Well, I'm going after him. Try to catch him before they get there. Listen, I'd like to go with you, Sheriff, but i got a mail run to make. Good luck. Thanks. Come on, Sally. All all you can going up that chattel mortgage to give Steve a chance to get to work. We've got to wreck both the stage line and the Pony Express. Carson's got to be stopped from bringing that money. Don't worry. Steve Lacey will stop him.
Put your hands up. I want that stagecoach money you're carrying. We're on to you, Carson, whenever move you make. Where's the money? Right in those saddlebags. Hand it to me. Okay. on the stagecoach and the Pony Express. Uh, start talking. Take it easy, Fuzz. He doesn't have to say anything about that. I know. You know? And you ain't done nothing about it? It doesn't make sense, Billy. When Steve's man held me up, he mentioned money I was bringing in to keep the stage line going till Farrell could get back on the job again. Now, only three people besides myself knew about that. Sally, Higgins, and Stone. Well, you can count Sally out. That leaves Higgins and Stone. Isn't that right, Steve? I'll throw him in the who's go. That won't do any good. Without proof to back up my claim, we'll never get a conviction. Wipe that smile off your mug before I knock it off. Oh, Billy, turn Steve over to me. <laughs> I'll make him talk. I've got a better idea than that. Now, Fuzz, you go over and pick up Stone. Bring him over to the corral and... Sheriff, get around the side window and keep your gun on it. Come on in here, Steve. Take this. Now, you got two guns on you. Do as I told you, you understand? Now, get going. What are you doing here, Steve? I told you not to come to this office. Well, I, I couldn't get back into Badlands and I had to get rid of it. You run into trouble? I'll say you did. Now get your hands up, Higgins.
Fuzz, you take care of Higgins. Sheriff, round up all the men you can and follow me. We'll go right in the Badlands if we have to. All right, get your horses, men. We're riding.
the moment, Carson. That's fine. And uh, good, huh? Billy, get on that stage. But we're going over the coal spill. You take care of things here, Sheriff. Sure. Don't get here pretty soon, that serum won't do us any good. Here it comes out. Have you got that serum? You bet it. Come on, run it. Express. I sure do, but it served its purpose. You know, things change, Sally. We've got to change with them. Do you think that'll ever happen to the Farrell and Carson stage line? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, with new territories opening up and civilization moving westward, well, business is bound to develop. And we'll develop right with it. We'll be the biggest outfit west of the Rockies. You're forgetting the railroads. They won't be sitting around. You know, someday, Sally, they're going to have a railroad in every town and hamlet in the country. And as soon as you were in your pretty head about that. It's a long time coming. In the meantime, we have a job to do. That's right. Where's Buzzy? Outside, showing my horse. He should be here any minute. Ha, ha, ha. 